I think she's uh, her report is a very good basis for us to uh, to look at those issues. Going so, forward. in view of that, what do you think of Mr. Hahn's comments? That's biased, crazy, and nonsense. Well, I you know obviously uh, you know he reports to his board of directors, and uh, he will have to be accountable to them over what he says and so his actions. Do you disassociate yourself from his comments? I, I obviously don't agree with his comments. I think that the Comptroller General has done a very thorough and competent job. But what do you think of his characterization of his, his position? He says that I'm a private sector guy, not a public sector guy, but his salary is underwritten by the public sector. Well, I think that uh, you know that's the challenge with uh, the relationship between government and BC Ferries is that uh, we we want them to run uh, like a private sector organization, so, but clearly there have to be accountabilities. Uh, the province uh, puts in a considerable amount of money every year as uh, as part of the subsidy that goes into BC Ferries for their routes, and uh, we need to make sure that there is the appropriate accountabilities, and and that's the purpose of uh, the Comptroller General's report. And as I say, I think she's done a good job. With so, what do you think of her observations about what she says of the excessive salaries and compensation at BC Ferries? Well, I think that uh, the Minister of Transportation, I, th I think, uh, spoke for all of us when she said she was quite shocked when she found out the le level of compensation that the Board of Directors had agreed to. With him holding this opinion, does it make it more difficult for government to actually get changes at BC Ferries? Well, I, you know, we want to uh, we want to work with BC Ferries, we want to work with TransLink, um, because I, I think there has to be a constructive uh, relationship and a constructive dialogue between government and those organizations. So I know that uh, the Minister of Transportation is certainly approaching this file from that perspective. The Minister of Transportation also didn't, said she had no idea last week whether or not your government has any power to roll back salaries at these agencies. Have you looked into that? No, but she uh, she will be looking into that and uh, her min officials in her ministry will be okay. following up on that. So, since you, you, you've launched this thing in July, did no one ever ask that question in all this time to, to find out whether or not you can do anything with this report? Well, you know, ultimately we have to work with the Board of Directors and uh, I think we also have to work within the laws of British Columbia and the laws of Canada when it comes to uh, compensation issues. So I know that uh, the Minister is going to be looking at that.